The Air Miners Conference is coming up and I want to share what I'm excited about and I want to share what I'm what I'm concerned about um, and just kind of some of my, my, my thinking for why this conference is happening and what this might mean a year out or a, a decade out. Um, this very moment I'm excited about uh, something that's happening behind the scenes and it probably you won't hear about it anymore. Um, but uh, I heard from, or I just got introduced to Kim Stanley Robinson, who is the author of the Mars series, uh, which happens to, uh, or whatever, like Kim Stanley Robinson coined the term air miners. Uh, and it was something that uh, I'm, I'm a fan of the book. I had read it as a, uh, as a college student, as a young adult, and I was reading it again about a year after we'd started air miners. Um, and just was reading this book about terraforming Mars, and here's this line about, you know, the, the landscape was covered with air miners that were pulling carbon from the air to make resources for this Mars colony. So that was like a total thrill. Um, you know, air miners at that point was uh, was already moving along. It was already an index. It was a kind of a budding community. Um, but just to read in this book, like, oh my gosh, this concept was here this whole time. Um, and so uh, a new friend of mine uh, happened to, was able to introduce me and that's super freaking cool. I have no expectation <laughs> that a reply will come back or anything more than that. Um, but just being introduced is so cool. I got to say like, hey, like this is, here's, here's Air Miners. I read the books growing up. Um, so that is freaking cool. I'm excited because it's like, the idea that the air miners is helping bring science fiction to life um, whether it's it's even like real science fiction it's actually from a book um, that's just really cool um, and so so I, that came in about an hour ago and I'm just like wow that's awesome um, and it gets me thinking about the you know the broader vision for for air miners what's gonna happen to this community and these technologies over the next uh, over the next 10, 20 years, uh, over the next 100 years. Actually, in the book, uh, I was just looking up the quote uh, before this, and I think it was something like, you know, the, the technology got deployed in 2020 on Mars. Um, so it's like, wow, that's that's basically like right now, it just thought it's on Earth and not Mars. Um, so that's really cool. Like, I'm, I'm excited about the Airmanus Conference because it's an opportunity for uh, kind of this like group of innovators who I've said this before, but like people who know of each other to get to meet each other. Uh, and the reason I think that's so important and so exciting is because I know that five years out, 10 years out, we'll be able to look back on each other and say like, oh yeah, they did this, they did that, this thing happened, they started that company, they wrote that paper. And just to know more of these people is, uh, I think that's where that's where that excitement comes from is that that kind of vision for the future where these things are happening and more of these people met through the air miners community um also super excited about just um you know air, air, i'm excited about the, the the what i'm seeing from the people around me who are helping to make this happen um because what i'm seeing is something fresh and different and new and exciting um, you know, when we started Air Miners, we, uh, we put a lot of thought into the name. We called it, um, Matthew will, will like remembering this, like we called it the, oh uh, yeah, we called it the, it, it, was, it had a bunch of different purposes when we started, but we started out, it, it was called the uh, Unnamed Institute, uh, which a friend of ours read and pronounced as the Unamed Institute, which was like awesome. Um, but it wasn't Air Miners to start, but we were trying to pick a, the right name because we wanted to, we don't want it to be like, we couldn't have carbon in the name. It's just like super redundant or climate. Like there's just, there's so many climate carbon, you know, names. So we wanted something that was evocative, something that made you think about something that was, that was aspirational, something that was technology, you know, technology, technological related, um, something that spoke to this like desirability of carbon. Um, and so when uh, we were hanging out with Mark and Sarah from The Determined uh, and they came up with, what about air miners? And it was just like the perfect term, right? It was, it's unapologetic. It's 
looking for something uh, valuable. Uh, it's it's looking for something that's that's also very practical and relatable. Just in, in the terms air and mining, there's that that practi practicality. There's the it's not apologizing or trying to return to anything else. It's just pulling carbon from the air and doing something cool with it, uh, something useful, something valuable with it. Um, so I'm so excited because uh, this is this is the spirit I'm seeing from the team that's pulling together the, the conference. This is what I'm seeing from uh, all the volunteers are going through and we're recording little like 60 second videos of like, why do we think this is cool? Um, Grant wore a freaking narwhal, narwhal suit to his like a costume to for his video, um, right? And like uh, Christina is like up in Tahoe in this like super cool like redwood forest or something. Um, Jason's in his apartment with his like original Earthrise uh, portrait in the back. Um, and to me, it's so cool to see these like new new entrants take a stand and pull together this group, right? Like none of us are like hardcore climate, you know, activists or hardcore people that have like PhDs and, and everything in, in climate science or environmental science. Uh, and I'm really excited to see that that's like, that's what Air Miners is coming together as, is it's, it's, it's taking all the great science and technology and policy and it's building on this layer that's, uh, that's about what's next. It's about spreading that um, spreading that enthusiasm for pulling carbon from the air and having it be something that's valuable and uh, and an adventure. Uh, so that's what I'm I'm most excited about with uh, with the Air Miners Conference is just seeing uh, seeing it through the the actions and the 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 statements of other people. So check out those uh, volunteer videos. They're gonna be going up in, in the next uh, next couple of days. Um, yeah, like that's that to me is super cool. Um, obviously excited for the for the incredible speakers and panelists, um, and and that's kind of more traditional, you know. Like of, of course excited for the, the people that you're going to be hearing from, um, but um, which for example, like there's a Klaus Lackner did a did his own like selfie video too, which you should also check out. Um, so I also think though, like, well, what are the parts that I'm kind of hesitant about or cautious about um like this group has never we've never put together a, an air miners conference before um maybe it'll be boring right like i've been on zoom conferences a lot lately like shoot they're freaking like a zoom marathon Whew, those things are brutal um and and i what's cool is like working with the whole team, uh, people like Kelly, who are thinking about how do we make these open spaces where people can ideate and brainstorm. Uh, we're talking about like, how do we all eat lunch together in a way? Um, and just kind of, yeah, leaning into that. Like this doesn't need to be like every other conference that's come before. This could be something different where we explore things, where we try things. Um, and in a way, like, I, you know, I, I hope we make some mistakes. I hope we try some things uh, that, that work really well. I hope we try some things and, and they don't really work because like to me, there's this whole thing opening up around like virtual conferences, around virtual meetings um, that I think in many ways can be superior to the to the normal conference experience. I think the, the open spaces that, that Kelly's putting together, those are a type of thing that as a person that likes ideation and, and pitching and, and pulling together new ideas, that's actually really hard to do at a traditional conference. You need, a, you need a private room, you need a private space, you need the people physically to be there in the right time. Um, these are open spaces that you can click and go into a different one from anywhere in the world. Like, you know, that's, that's obvious with, you know, having grown up with the internet and been a part of Zoom, but something about it now seems like, wow, this could actually be better than a, a traditional conference. So. Um, I'm both, you know, concerned about that, but also, you know, also excited. There's some real, uh, some real stuff in there. Um, I wrote down some notes before this, so I'm just kind of looking through that. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, if you haven't registered, come check it out. Uh, the website is conference.airminers.org. Um, to me, I look back 10 years from now, uh, and I think about, you know, these, these people, these innovators, these leaders coming together, uh, and it's more than just the people that you're gonna see give the speeches. Uh, it's those people and it's the people that attend. It's the people that thought about this or heard about it and said, you know, I'm interested in that. 
Um, I have seen over and over again, like people like that um, just come in and, and completely take off. I think Jason is a, is a big example of that. He's the event organizer. Um, six months ago, I don't think he was even on the airliners community. I don't think carbon removal was really on his radar. Um, and then now like it's, it's sort of like a zero to hero thing, right? Like this is a, this is an industry. This is a field that's growing so, so fast that if you come in and you have a new cake on something, or you have a, a weird question that nobody's answered before in, in weeks or months, you can just rise to the occasion and, and be the, be the leader in that, in that piece of the thinking, uh, which I think Jason abides really well, just having, you know, started and then now is the event organizer bringing his marketing and event organization um, background, his MBA background, and just bringing so much of this at hand. Um, that's when, when I think about the big vision for the Air Miners Conference, five years out, 10 years out, it's the, the explosive growth that's gonna come from bringing in more of these people that are on the fringes of the, of the climate discussion, right? There's the people that do it every day. There's the people that whatever, like resist it. But I think it's the people that are, it's, you know, those, those groups are actually like rather small compared to the potential, all the people that are out there that are kind of waiting for the right opportunity or waiting in the wings to hear something that, that they can contribute to. So uh, I'm excited that the air miners is that, that unfurling of, of entrepreneurs, scientists, engineers, designers, um, all the people that are gonna be a part of these companies and projects, uh, I think is a really, uh, a really powerful growth to the, um, to, to the climate solution space. So hope to see you at the, at the conference. Um, if you are already registered and you're inspired uh, about, about coming, uh, I'd love to see like a little 30 second, 60 second video from you about like, why are you coming? Like, what are you excited about uh, in the carbon negative future? Or like, what does that future look like to you? Um, and just, you know, post it up on YouTube or send it to me, email it to me. Um, would love to see it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all pretty soon.